Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. This will be a follow-up to my last program about that Amtrak train carrying a lot of Republican members of Congress which struck a garbage truck and killed one of the passengers in that truck. And I told you at the time the significance of the number of that locomotive, 145. Because the 1 represented the letter I. And 145, or I-45, symbolized Isaiah 45. And I told you that that was a warning to the Republicans to stop funding Planned Parenthood. But did any of them listen? No, they did not. Yesterday, they passed a huge budget for the next two years, trillions and trillions of dollars, huge deficit spending, and they provided free taxpayer-funded contraception, sterilization, abortion drugs, and funding for Planned Parenthood. And what does God think about that? Well, take a look at all of the garbage strewn around when the train hit that garbage truck. And God sometimes gives us warnings through numerology. Now, remember, for example, when Pope Benedict resigned five years ago this weekend, and lightning struck the Vatican at exactly 5.55 p.m. That was not an accident. That was a warning from Almighty God. And I remember saying at the time that Pope Benedict, he was not sick. He was not going to die in six months, as we were told. He was in good health. He was squeezed out through the influence, according to WikiLeaks, of Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, Barack Obama. They put pressure on the Vatican. Our current Pope, Pope Francis is not a true Pope. He was appointed by God, but he was not anointed. And how do we know that? Well, God once again told us through sacred numerology. And when Francis was elected, take a look at that smoke coming out of the chimney. Look at that little time stamp. 706. 706 is the same as 6 p.m. plus 60 minutes plus another 6 minutes. In other words, 666. That is not accidental, people. God knows what he was doing. Now, if you don't believe me that God is opposed to contraception, sterilization, and abortion, let me read to you what Isaiah 45 says about those evils. Isaiah 45, verse number 9. Woe to him that strives with his maker. Shall the clay say to him that fashions it, What make you? In other words, we have no right to tell God how many children we are going to have. We must practice self-control, not birth control. Isaiah 45, verse number 10. These are the only two verses, by the way, that have the word woe in them. Woe to him that says to his father, Why beget you? And to the woman, Why do you bring forth? I told you what this wreck was all about. I told you that Isaiah 45 was warning the Republican congressman to cut off funding for Planned Parenthood. That's why that 145 is on that locomotive. That stands for Isaiah 45. For example, God is not going to bless America or the Republican Congress. A few weeks ago, they passed the Unborn Child Pain Protection Act. But they didn't get 60 votes. So they wanted to blame the Democrats. They had enough votes to pass it. In fact, they did pass it. They could have forced the issue by using the nuclear option, but did they? Oh, no. In the election coming up, they want to say that they are against abortion and the Democrats are for it. 
Well, if you can't fool me, you can't fool Almighty God. That's why he struck that garbage truck with the I-45 Republican train. And I want to give you another example. This was a few years ago when that devil moose from Belarus hit that tour bus. And the odometer read 666.6 kilometers and the time was 5.55 p.m. Does that remind you of the lightning striking the Vatican? And I explained this to you. There were many videos posted on YouTube talking about the 666. I mean, that's pretty obvious. But none of them explained what the 555 represents. That represents Mary's Rosary defeating the Antichrist. And now what time did this Republican train crash into the garbage truck? Do you, any of you remember? Well, it was 1120. Another very significant number. The I-45 is significant, and also the time of the crash. 11 is another biblical number for the Antichrist. 20 is another way to express Mary's Rosary, because there would be four mysteries, the joyful, the sorrowful, the luminous, the new mysteries, and the glorious. 20 decades in all. That's the significance of that time. And quite a few people have asked me, why didn't the passengers in that garbage truck get out of the garbage truck? Well, I'm going to ask you the same thing. Why don't you get out of the whore of Babylon? Because that's what that truck symbolized. Do you know what the name of that truck was? This is also very interesting. Time disposal. Not garbage disposal or trash disposal, but time disposal. That means the time is up for America. Do you really think God is going to give us more warnings? And as I said, one of the three people in that truck was killed. His name was Christopher Foley. Christopher means Christ bearer. God is telling us that one third of Americans are going to die and most of them are going to be innocent. So my challenge to you Republicans is listen to what God is telling you. And my challenge to you, my subscribers, is get out of that garbage truck. Because the whore of Babylon, that is America, is on the tracks. And you are about to be struck by Bible prophecy. And since my last uh, program, I did get some donations. So let me thank the following people. Edwin in Kentucky. Thank you, Edwin. Janina in Australia. Mary in Tennessee. Eon donated again from the United Kingdom. And he asked me why I don't do more videos on Britain. And the reason is because Britain is a part of the whore of Babylon. You are also on the train tracks. And I've explained to you before, you have to leave the geographical location of Babylon, and that would be on many waters. And that's both symbol, symbolic and literal. In other words, large bodies of water get away from, and many waters symbolizes peoples, so you must get out of the cities. So, Ian, that's my advice for you. And I want to thank Jeff in Indiana. And if any of you would like to help me keep these programs on YouTube, I know America's not going to listen until there are some really horrific warnings from Almighty God. But you, my subscribers, you can prepare now. And you can uh, donate by clicking on the PayPal button, either on my YouTube channel or on my thirdeaglemedia.com website.